Hey there YouTube, welcome to Big Mike Beard Wisdom. So, it's winter time, it's a horrible time to get this light. So, the nice thing about this particular vehicle is that it tells you which tire's low. Now, for your vehicle, your left and right is from the driver's left and right. So, left, right, as seated in the driver's seat. So it's not when you're looking at the car. So in this case, so left, front tire should be driver's front tire should be the low one and this isn't always right so with newer cars and tire pressure sensors and especially ones where it knows where the wheel is you need to make sure that the, the tires get relearned to their new locations in this instance there is nothing wrong with this tire however this tire is very flat so what more than likely happened was that there was a simple rotation. So front tires came to the back, rear tires either went straight forward or they crisscrossed when they were rotated. So should one of those go flat, it might not even say that it's the left side and be correct that it's the left side. It might say right rear tire for that one. And there's really no good way to verify whether or not the tires were relearned when they were rotated, except for letting a little air out or adding a little air to one of the tires to see if it changes and if that's the one you expected. So, if you wind up having a low tire and it winds up being, wait a minute, there's nothing wrong with that one, check your other tires, it could be how the rotation went. Whenever filling your tires up, you want to use a tire pressure gauge because just looking at this display, can be a little bit misleading sometimes it may take a little bit for the tire to actually catch up or the signal to read again especially if you haven't moved so it's very possible to either underfill or overfill the tire if you're just going by what it displays in the dash but you can definitely see that left front tire is now up to 36 the lights out now even though we only added air to the left rear tire that also says the right rear is at 26 psi so, if the tires were rotated straight front to back, that would be the passenger side, so right side front tire would be the low one. All right, so sure enough, it's just a little bit over 25 PSI, which that means that the tires themselves were just rotated front to back. Now, front to back rotation helps hide any kind of tire pull issues but it doesn't help you with your tire wear which is what you really need a rotation to do because if you've got a regular wear on this side as this tire is rotated back it should wear normally over there and then when it moves back over this side to the driver's side it should help even out any of that irregular wear. Meanwhile, all the other tires that have come in this position will pick up that same irregular wear, helping extend all the tires' total lifespans. As long as whatever alignment component that's out is wearing your tire continues to be out of spec. But once you get it fixed, all your tires should begin to wear normally once again. All right, now that one's all filled up. So always remember, left and right is from the driver's perspective while sitting in the driver's seat. Front and back is the front of the car, <laughs> where the headlights are, and the back or rear is the rear of the car where the taillights are. But of course, all that gets a little complicated when tires are rotated, but someone doesn't relearn the new tire locations. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll check you next time. Oh, why does this always happen in the winter? I can't feel my fingers. <laughs>